just watch what horses do out in a pasture naturally. This is, I'm sure, what your horse is begging you to, to understand. Is how does he do it naturally? And if you can understand that, and if you can get your head around it, and if you can try to emulate nature, and never forget your horse is nature in its finest form. And if we can understand that, then what we can do is we can start to open up the real secrets of success to horses. It takes love, it takes language, it takes leadership. And that horse is going to respond with respect, without fear. He's going to be light, responsive, and the bond that we can create is gonna be strong. That's my only goal is just to keep it natural, keep it simple, and help humans understand horses. Understand them so much that it actually becomes innate, and this is what SAVVY is. My whole program is, is designed to help you have horse SAVVY, because if you SAVVY SAVVY, your horse is gonna know it. He's gonna, he's gonna respond to you so naturally that he thinks you're his mother, and that's the goal. So keep it natural. It's just really nice when, when a horse gives you that, like this little touch there, and <laughs> when, when you become bonded, and when it's more about a feel, a connection, and, and yeah, just stronger than, than any bit or any rope or something like that. Um, it's it's a deep, relationship it's about building a relationship a deep bond between a horse and the human and through psychology through understanding through not being bothered about little mistakes that happen on both sides not being critical but having fun together and um, and that's what it's all about there horsemanship has kind of been stuck into this rut of just doing what everybody else is doing just because everybody else is doing it so I started going, what, else, what is possible? I started looking at, at uh, not just you know, English versus Western, I started looking at circus trainers. I started looking at uh, dressage, racing, polo, cutting, people that being able to do things with horses on the ground, trick training. And all of a sudden I realized there was a universal thing. And I started thinking, you know what? If we can get the horses to play with us, if we can evoke that play drive. Now we've probably all had that with our dog, right? Maybe with our children, kind of get them playing and learning and stuff. But horses will only play either with each other or something or an environment that they feel safe and comfortable. I remember one of the first realizations that I had when I did a clinic with Pat, the very first clinic that I did was I realized that even though I'd been in horses for 20 years and I was winning ribbons, that I had no idea what was important to horses. I had no idea what made them tick. And then I, as I began to study the program, over the years, I realized the more I knew, the less I knew. Until one day, finally, it clicked for me and I really understood how to make it good for the horse, how to have the horse really want to be with us, how to develop their confidence, how to get them to want to play how to get them to want to leave other horses and come be with you. It's like no matter what you do with horses, unless you know what makes them tick, you'll always fall short of what they need you to be.